Today I'm gonna to show you a brand spanking new way to transfer all your data from your old iPhone to your shiny new one. No iTunes, no iCloud needed. No kidding. Perhaps you have a new iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. You know the ones that have the new cameras on it, the faster performance, and well, most important of all, the longer battery life. However, there is one problem. All your stuff is on your old iPhone 6S, your messages, your emails, videos, and photos. You know the one, the one that dropped in the parking lot after you saw the movie Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> God, that rock, he's just so good. He's just, he's a really good actor, you know? Anyway, you can always use iTunes or iCloud to back up your phone. Well, that is if you have enough iCloud storage or if you ran out, you probably haven't backed up your phone in weeks or months or years. Hey, but no worries. Apple rolled out a brand new data migration feature that will basically make a direct copy of your old phone onto your new phone, down to the wallpaper. <laughs> the first thing you need to do though is unbox your new iPhone. And we have an iPhone 11 and 11 Pro to unbox. So cue the unbox music montage. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now that the phone's out of the box, let's charge it up. On your old phone, you should check to make sure that you're running iOS 12.4 or newer. And to be completely clear, both the new phone and old phone should be running iOS 12.4 or newer. Next, unlock your old iPhone and place it next to your new iPhone. A pop-up window will ask if you want to set up a new iPhone. Tap continue, then point your old iPhone's camera at your new iPhone's screen with a psychedelic blue cloud of particles. Follow the prompts on your new iPhone and complete tasks like entering a passcode, setting up Face ID, and agreeing to Apple's terms and conditions. Wink, wink. Eventually, you'll end up on a screen asking if you want to transfer data directly from one phone to the other, or if you want to restore from iCloud. This is where I gotta warn you that if you do restore from an iCloud backup, it's not only gonna be faster, but you're gonna be able to use your old iPhone while the new one's getting data loaded on it. If you choose to transfer directly from another iPhone, you're not gonna be able to use either iPhone until the data transfer process has completed. Hey, I know, I know, I didn't design it, but just wanted to warn you. All that said, select transfer from iPhone and follow the prompts, and then the iPhones take care of the rest. All you gotta do is make sure that the two iPhones stay near each other, otherwise you might slow or stall the process. Depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi network, as well as how much data you have to transfer, this whole process can take a while. For me, it took about 25 minutes, but I had another friend, it took her over two hours, which is just enough time to watch the 1985 film, Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins, starring Fred Ward as a New York City cop who wakes up from a mysterious accident to learn that he's been recruited as an assassin. He has to learn how to train and walk on water and dodge bullets, and there's a humdinger of a fight on the Statue of Liberty. The film also stars Wilford Britton. What? It's already done? Pleasure. Oh. After the transfer is complete, your iPhone will reboot and all the apps will continue downloading. All your data will be there. Your messages, your calendars, your contacts, your photos, your videos. Go ahead, check them, I'll wait. Pro tip. So this method transfers everything wirelessly. However, if you have a lightning to USB camera adapter and you use your phone's power cable, you can actually plug in one phone to the other and transfer over the cable. Supposedly, this method could be faster. You'll have to try. Pro tip. <laughs> so you got all your stuff transferred to your new phone. Congratulations. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, well, keep your damn mouth shut.